we got Marvin here and dude, let's just start. Let's just dive right in, man. What, uh, what does it feel like after your first spring at Florida state? What are your thoughts? What's going through your mind as, as you get into these summer workouts, uh, and start heading towards fall camp and eventually playing that first game in Ireland? Yeah, I think the word is exciting. Uh, it's a lot to look forward to this season, especially playing the first game, um, overseas and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, spring is going really well. I think, you know, my body has been treating me right. Um, I feel like I've gotten better every practice. So yeah, a lot to look forward to this season. Now, obviously you came here from Georgia. That's that's a team that, you know, won two national titles in a row and was only a one loss team last year. Coming to Florida State, what, what are some similarities that you've noticed and, and what are maybe some differences that uh, have really stood out? Uh, similarities, I would say, um, I guess like schedule when it comes to summer workouts and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's probably too much things to point out, but uh, differences. I mean, everything's really different. It's, you know, no, no two schools are gonna have really things that are the same. So I mean, I don't, I can't really point out similarities and differences. I'm sorry. No, you're good, man. Uh, so again, you've 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 done full spring here, uh, and you've gotten to go on the opposite side with with Pat Payton. What's working with a guy like that? A uh, uh, an all ACC guy, uh, highly talented pass rusher. What, what's that been like for you to, to come in and get to work with him every day? Uh, for me, it's been a learning experience. Uh, I mean, if you've been around Pat, you know how smart he is. Um, so, I mean, you can ask him, I'm always asking him questions, uh, asking him what he saw in certain plays. So it's, it's been a learning experience, a lot of fun playing on the other side of him. Awesome, man. Well, we're going to get a couple questions from the chat here. Uh, folks, again, if you all want to throw questions to the chat, please do. Super chats are turned on. Whoever has the highest one at the end of the night will get the football that all of our participants tonight will sign. Lynn Witt asked, Marvin, so glad to have you join us in Tallahassee. Can't wait to see what you bring to the table. What are you most looking forward to this year? Uh, I would say that first home game, getting a run out. Uh, they're seeing Osceola and all that. Uh, so, yeah, my first game in Duke, uh, what I'm looking forward to the most. How many stories over under like a thousand has your dad told you about being in Doak and, and what that's like? Like <laughs> I mean, honestly, like my dad, if you met him, like he wouldn't even know he played football, obviously, other than looking at him, but he doesn't really talk about ball um, unless I really, really ask. But I mean, most of his funny stories about college are off the field. So probably stuff I can't uh, tell on YouTube. That's fair. We won't, we won't make you tell that. I mean, but you know, like, is his nickname like Shade Tree was kind of an off the field thing, right? Wasn't that because he? Yeah, I know, guess was... I think during a workout or something, uh, he was tired and stuff and ran to a tree and sat down under the tree, and that's how they called him that. But you probably got to ask Coach Fuller. I don't know. He probably know better than me. Yeah, yeah we can ask him or Odell or, or somebody. But uh, R. Yeah. Wilmer asked, Mr. Jones, it's very formal. Uh, what's been the biggest transition uh, issue for you coming over here? Is it? style is it terminology scheme like like what's what's been i guess the most different like foot yeah, yeah uh, biggest lost. issue uh, i don't really think there's been any issues uh being honest like georgia i don't think there's a lot of defenses that are going to be trickier and have more you know intricacies so i mean i feel like if you can get that playbook down you're kind of you're going to be set going forward uh, i mean but issue i mean obviously it's a whole bunch of different words different terms still stuff like that but I don't want to say there's any issues, no. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I guess not really an issue. And, you know, we're not parsing our good question askers uh, word choice. Yeah, I guess, I guess not an issue, but just the hardest the hardest part to pick up, right? And um, like you said, you come from a pretty complicated defense, but I imagine just everything that you've done your whole life being called different words is uh Yeah, yeah, no, a but challenge. after a few, uh, you know, practices and stuff like that in meetings, you get the hang of it. Yeah, absolutely, man. So uh, James B., thank you, James, with the Super Chat. Uh, asked Marvin, have you set individual goals for this season yet? And if so, what's your sack total goal? <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a few a few goals. Um, ACC Defensive Player of the Year. Um, obviously, want to be a first round draft pick, but you know that comes with winning games. Um, but yeah, my sack total, I need fifteen. I'm trying to get fifteen. Okay, I, I love that, dude. I love that you're setting your goals high. I mean, we're talking. Yeah, sure. All ACC, first round draft pick. And we yeah. actually have a guy who just did it at your position. Have sure. you gotten a chance to connect with Jared Burst at all since you got here? Or have y'all talked or gotten to, gotten to chop it up at all? Uh, nah, I mean, yeah, I met, I met Jared a few times. We haven't really talked, you know, ball. Yeah, he's always, you know, obviously a busy guy, especially this year and these past few months. But, you know, I've, I've talked to him a few times. Real cool. Fun dude. So. Now, I, I guess kind of last one is, you know, when you look at Jared and then you know, before him, Jermaine Johnson, coming from Georgia, transferring in, having the success that he had. 
Uh, did those two play a role in your decision to end up at Florida State, or was that just entirely based on how you felt with the coaching staff, or, or what What did that do to play into it? I mean, I wouldn't say, like, it played a role in my decision, but, I mean, obviously, it's a lot, you know. I mean, you have a plan in your head, but when you see somebody go and do it and take the exact steps that, you know, you think you're going to take, it definitely takes a little bit of pressure and stress off the whole situation. So, you know, seeing, you know, Jared, I mean, uh, Jermaine, you know, come from the same school, kind of similar situation, uh, same position and stuff, and seeing him do, you know, his journey definitely made uh, things a lot easier, I feel like. So. Yeah, no, and look, man, we, uh, we hope that you do follow in the footsteps of those two. And, you know, again, that you have that kind of year, because if we're sitting here in, what, six months and we're talking about an all-ACC season with 15 sacks and projected first-round draft sure. picks, that's – that's going to be a hell of a 2024 that the team around you is going to have. So can't wait, uh, can't wait. Yeah, man, really appreciate you stopping by.